What's going on, Legion? As you're here, like always, and uh, yeah, a few things. First, this is the third sleeper cell. Uh, for anybody that didn't see the fourth one, because I accidentally skipped it, because for whatever reason I got it mixed up, my bad. You can find that on the Facebook page down below. Whatever reason, the WB decided to block all that content worldwide, uh, which I am so much more thankful for them to just to block it instead of strike me, which is. Uh, you know, I'm open to any company. If you're like, you know, if a company's like, I don't want you doing this stuff, that's that's cool. You know, you give me that option, I'll take it. Uh, copyright strikes are no uh, no joke. So I'm, I'm thankful more that they decided to just block it instead of maybe penalizing me for something that. Uh, eh, I, I mean, if I wanted to make a stink about it, fair use and stuff like that, but I don't think I'm a big enough YouTuber to really make any kind of stink. And even if big YouTubers. The WB said something, doesn't matter if you're PewDiePie or, or fucking Schmucky the Clown like me, you ain't gonna win. You're just not. Because the biggest YouTuber is the nothing to companies. Um, so, yeah. So if you haven't seen the third one, third one's on the Facebook page. The link is down below. You just go to the Facebook page and you'll just see it. It's one of the last things I posted for the most part. And, um, yeah, other than that, the only other thing to get to is uh, the Fox Theater. I just... Really not in the mood to listen to, to the music stuff right now. I'm very much into checking them out and seeing what they're about. And uh, I'll try to get the Fox Theater maybe next week. I, I know I think I said I was going to try to get to it this week or something like that. But uh, I'm just not in the mood to watch music stuff right now or a concert. So this is better than nothing. And honestly, this is the best. I'd rather watch this anyways than some concert right now. So let's just gonna do it, check it out, see what it's all about. Let's hope it's good. The third one was, uh, or excuse me, the fourth one was really good. Uh, so yeah. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, Oklahoma. We're still playing shows. We're still making it happen, man. All right, we got Tyler Josh in here. Josh is still killing. That's cool. I'm still having a good time. I'm still drinking tea. <laughs> but it's not tea. It looks like tea. It's actually red. Oh, wow. Don't tell my mom. Hey, who's hamster wall? <laughs> That's funny. Well, Josh and I decided to switch on and off on the hamster wall because well, it's just such a workout. We don't want one person to be more fit than the other. We think that it's only fair <laughs> that both of us get to do it. So we're always fighting to be in the hamster yeah. wall so that our quads just gets so much bigger. Yeah. And our glutes. It's leg day every time we get in there, and we love it. You see that one, it may be on a, an account you follow, but a guy's like strapped to like, he's in a gym, and he's, he's strapped rubber bands to both his arms and his legs, and he's just going back and forth, like yelling like he's working out, and the guy's just like, when it's everything day. That's kind of what the Yeah. I've never seen that that's, before. That's, that's how you feel making. inside. That's the noise we're making. In there, you just can't hear yeah. it. Zipped up. Right. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I don't know. Things just happened for a reason, guys. I skipped the third one, went to the fourth one, which was Josh again. But the third one had Tyler. It all works out. Not a fan. Oh, I, it's 3 o'clock p.m. <laughs> and I need to wake up. It's called a French press. That's coffee that goes in here. Hot water goes in after. Push this thing down. Pour it in a cup. Mm. And then you're awake. That works. Yeah, I've seen those before. It's probably the second coolest invention that the French have come up with. <laughs> right after the kiss. <laughs> That's probably one of, my, one of the coolest ones. One of my favorite, he's gonna say, right? I haven't, I haven't tried yet, but um, <laughs> if it's anything as cool as this, I'm probably gonna like it. One of these days, I will, I will try that. 
Tyler calls it dirt water, which he's not really wrong. There's a restaurant called Dirt is. Water Springs here. Fun fact. Fresh dirt water. Probably not as good as a French kiss, but it's pretty good. I wish I was a fan of coffee, I'm just not. I like iced coffee. Walk down the line. A lot of quality food. But you gotta go with your gut. Literally. <laughs> These guys, man. Ah, this is it's just so fun to watch this crap. I don't mean crap, but you know. this is my these are my grandparents. Oh yes, we know Mark. This is uh this is my mom's mom, my mom's dad. We, we met him in Lancaster. He's I think you're on video. <laughs> you're on video, right? Yeah, so you're not supposed oh, to okay. talk about the videographer. When you... <laughs> oh, yeah. But that is Mark back there behind Hi, Mark. there. Do you yeah. want to talk about the first time you saw Tyler perform with his band? What what was that in Lancaster, Pennsylvania? When oh, yeah. we ventured room. up there and it was a was it a burrito restaurant cafe type in the back alley. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we we stayed overnight and you guys They got us overnight. a hotel. This is one of the first hotels we'd ever and stayed we, in. We were in there and looking around and there were about thirty four other people there. Yeah. All eating. So I said to the guy who's running the show, I said, Where will the bands be tonight? He says, Right here. I said, Right here. He said, yeah, this, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> two, two girls outside ran up to me. And they said, are you Tyler's grandparents? I said, yes, but how do you know that? She said, smartphone. Mm. You're all, your faces said, are all over the place. You on Twitter and <laughs> smartphone. <laughs> she said, we saw some pictures. Could we have so they a selfie with you? Did you take a selfie? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. She, yeah. she took it. It's awesome. <laughs> They look for a guy with white hair, and he said, "This gotta be him." <laughs> Tell the old man, "No, please." That's pretty cool. So I, I don't want to stop the video, but I just want to say it's kind of cool to hear the whole performing at a burrito restaurant when you know 99% of people that always try to make this stuff happen, whether it's music, acting, whatever it is, working, and you know, um, uh. Mia Khalifa was working at like a Burger King, I believe. Uh, some models were working in a. Uh, uh, there's a I forgot who it was. There's a girl that was working in like a coffee shop. You know, musicians waiting waiter or, or what uh, waiters that are mus musicians living in their car, and a lot of these people just don't actually make it. You know, they perform in the coffee shops, the burrito places for the rest of their lives trying to make it and they never do make it and it's really cool to hear that they were one of those thousands and thousands of people that have tried to make it and was in that shitty you know paying your dues in that dive restaurant or bar or whatever it is but they didn't fall by the wayside they made it they had the skill they had the talent they had the ability the drive and stays been determination and they're here very last show. The opening man's just finished up. Starting out the night was Judah and the Lion. Some guys from Nashville. Um, really didn't know a whole lot about him before this tour. I don't know any They'd of become these. Like, like brothers. Judah brought me a latte almost every day of the tour. Almost every show. So I probably owe him like 300 bucks at this point. Every day he would send me a text say, hey, I'm going to a coffee shop today. Do you want something? And he brought me something every day. All those guys, so cool and so fun to have out. John Bellion's a guy that I heard of probably like two years ago through a couple different friends. And I remember showing Tyler some of John's tracks and, and we were both just jamming. And, um, and then we found out that he wanted to, to go on this tour with us. And we both looked at each other and we were like, that's perfect. But had no idea what kind of guy he was. Now after this entire tour, he's one of our, he's one of our better friends now. The end of a tour is almost like the end of like a summer camp or something like that. Yeah, I bet. Because uh, you just, you see everybody all day, every day, you get close, and then you, then you kind of split ways, keep in touch, but it's not the same where you wake up and, and go get a coffee with somebody or go yeah. and just hang out and chat. So I think we're all kind of, we're all kind of bummed today. It would be good to get home, but it's going to suck not seeing those guys every day. So, we love you guys.
Yeah, I bet that was just hanging out with people all the time. They're like, all right, time to go back to my part of the, you know, the world, the country, whatever. Oh, yeah. That would probably be pretty disappointing. It's like going to a convention and hanging out with people like the entire convention that you've known online forever. And then you're like, all right, time to go back to what we do. Spirits in the dark waiting. Columbus, the U.S. Us, whatever that meant. Yeah, I'm sure people can read that. Not to be cynical. Can you imagine if he fucking fell right there? That'd be an insane fall. No I know everybody's like, don't say that. I'm just saying, that's, if I was up there, that's the first thing I think about. Like, Please don't fall. No one I don't want to fall. Our own time's in the dark. I've seen this airport in many vlogs Our from people that live in Ohio. In YouTube vloggers. he do that with his shirt? Can you tell me? I'm curious. I'm never a fan of this kind of cinematography where they let the person into their home to set up a thing and then they, they reenact them coming home. I'm never a fan of the way people do that kind of filming. Not that that's Tyler or or Josh's preference or what their decision it's the person making this video it's where we're from there's no sun our hometown's in the dark where we're from where no one our hometown's in Digging that piano. It's very tranquil. Maybe not for you because I'm talking, but it. Assuming that's the end of it. It is the end of it. Uh, that was a good one, man. That was a real good one. Um, yeah, I, I had a. St I, I don't like usually stopping the video in the middle of everything, but I, I didn't want to talk over all the music for the most part until later on when the music was just kind of the background for images, and I just was like, yeah, you know, that's when you have to say stuff. Um. I don't know, it's really crazy that we went from two to four on accident. And we got to see... And, and, of course, four has Josh in it primarily, just like the first two. But three had Tyler in it. And somehow it just all kind of worked out. Um, I hope you're watching this on YouTube. I'm hoping you're getting a chance to check it out. I hope it's not blocked. Um, yeah. That was really good, man. It was very just kind of peaceful and calm... Uh, and just it, just something fun to watch, not not just something. It, it has to be the most epic or the most this or the most meaty. No, it's just good. 
It was good. It didn't have to have it. Was there's no subtle tones. It was just their life. No message, nothing like that. It was just them being them, which was really fun to watch. and real, It's always really interesting. I usually get a good laugh out of the, the humor or the joking around between Josh and uh, Tyler. I, I don't know why my mind always wants to say Taylor. I know that's not even close to being right. But I almost always say it. Um, I was going to say something I can't remember now, uh, which is usually why I talked during the video. Um, I there's really not a whole lot to say other than it's it's just a a good good break. I wish that there was a lot more of this in the celebrity world as far as the people that we respect and care for and and put out great messages. I wish there's a lot more interaction between them and the rest of the world instead of just the other famous people. You know, I think that would be cool. It would give us a good insight on the people. It would make a... I think they get a lot more respect, too. Because there's a lot of celebrities where I'm like, yeah, you're a good actor and you do a good job on stage or, or you know, you 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 do good at music or whatever it is. But as a person, you're a douchebag. You're a fucking loser and a degenerate and a piece of garbage. And you only have talent in this one area because who you are as a human being is worthless. Because all they care about is their money or whatever. You know, so and there's, I, I think majority, 90% of all celebrities are just not the greatest people. And they, men, they're they mentally, speaking of mental illness, <clears throat> they're uh, most of them are sociopaths. The, the, you have to have some kind of problem mentally to have that kind of drive. You just do. And it's very rare to see someone that isn't so conceited or just so broken up here that can still succeed. Because a lot of that drive comes from a mind working a different way. At least I believe. What I remember what I was going to say now. I would love to see the way uh, Josh and uh, uh, Tyler, I would love to see them perform something that is completely remo uh, removed and devoid of their ideas. What I mean by that is I would love to see them do music that had none of their costumes, none of their body paint stuff, the oil, black, whatever that is, the masks, get rid of all that crap. Get rid of uh, the rapping. Get rid of the way they do music, and just I would love to see them do a genre, and and just not not a person, not like a cover, but to find a genre and play like a traditional song from that genre without any of their per, uh, uh, influence. Because right there, him playing the piano and him just kind of doing a har you know harmonizing and doing a little vocal, whatever you want to call that. That wasn't that wasn't he didn't put any accent on it. He didn't do any flair or he didn't change it up. It was just the way he sounds. He was putting out a tone and he was playing the piano. And he was playing the piano really well. It was it was just a, a simple style. A simple the stylings of whoever created that kind of playing eons ago. You know, and I love their music, but there are some music uh, there's some songs they've done where the first half is good. And then they get into like the rapping or they start doing something kind of crazy because it's like they think that'll be a good idea. And sometimes it's good. Um, fairly local is a good, uh, I think, um, what do you call it? It's a good uh, example. I can't well, think of the word. It's a good example of the song starts out one way, has its own way of doing it, and then kind of comes back to it. Guns for Hands starts out one way, and then the concert completely was changed. And I would love to see them do, I don't want to say like something classical, but it'd be also really cool to see them just do a, a, a genre, a style of music that had a piano or a horn or a violin in it. Um, and of course, drums and stuff. It'd be really cool to see them do it without putting the extra that is 21 Pilots on there. But just who they are as individuals, um, simply playing. I would love to see their talent as playing instruments. I loved, And I would love to see their talents as just singing and, and stuff like that. Because we all know that Tyler can sing. We know that Josh can play the drums. <laughs> but they do it, and when they do it their way, and it's still good or it's bad depending on your preference of the song or their band even. But... They could easily do a song that had a piano in it or just normal vocalizations and stuff like that, just normal singing, 
and they wouldn't have to do anything extra because they're just that talented, I believe. And sometimes, I don't know, I don't see it with 21 Pilots a whole lot. Uh, well, yeah, there's a few songs I've heard where the song is incredible. It starts out really good, and then maybe he raps in it, and I'm like, I personally don't think he needed that. I thought the song was damn near perfect with just his actual voice singing. He didn't need to add any kind of, you know, um, he didn't need to have anything on the bait, you know, he didn't uh, on the hook. He didn't have to, you know, do anything extra for us to like him more or like the song more. The song was good, and if you're somebody that likes his styling of music, then you're like, oh, that's no big deal. But for me that didn't know that about them, didn't know he did that kind of music, I thought he was just he would just sing. And then he started rapping or, or whatever. I'm like, what, what, hello? I didn't know that. I didn't know that he did that. So it was completely threw me off base. It's like, yeah, so I don't know. Personally, I would love to see them just strip away all the little inflations they do and just do something just straightforward and musical. Like when we watched that cover last time of him doing a cover of another song, um, it wasn't like Super 21 Pilots how he sings. It was a, a, a cover. It was, um, I don't remember the song. But uh, yeah, I would love to see that because right there at the very end, I love the way he was playing the piano. Not, you know, how crazy in some of his songs that he plays it. I loved it right there. I love the way he sounds. And I think that's a natural talent. And sometimes when someone has a natural talent, but they do all the bells and whistles, it, I think it takes away sometimes. And that's not always the case with uh, Tyler. But I think there are definitely some songs that I, I'm not a fan of because there's too much. And uh, I think with that, I'm going to end it right there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. You like the video, like the content. You know the drill. Thanks for watching again. Once again, my name is Azrael. I'll see you whatever video I'm doing next. I didn't realize this was a 21-minute video. I really hope this actually makes it to... That was loud. It's still loud. I really hope this actually makes it to YouTube. If you watch this on Facebook, then... Yeah. I don't know why I promoted it to Facebook then. Later.